Hey, this is Warren Redlick. I've put together a new model. Past models dealt with the battery revenue model or the robo-taxi model. It was kind of all over the place and I've put it all together into one comprehensive model that addresses net profit and margins rather than just gross profit or gross revenue. This first video is about the vehicle portion of the model. There are four other parts of this video. They'll be linked at the end and you can check them out in the description below. Vehicles, solar, mega pack, robo taxi, and then the total profits. Before I go further, I wanna thank the Vasa Law Firm in Sweden and all my Patreon supporters for helping this channel grow. You can check out a link to Patreon in the description below. T-shirts, we're trying to be less wrong. The idea of this modeling is we are always wrong or we're trying to be less wrong. You can get the be less wrong t-shirt link in the description below. So let's talk about the margin model or the profit model. Are you ready? Let's go. I tried several approaches to modeling Tesla's vehicle numbers. In this model, this is a pessimistic version where we start at 900,000 vehicles in 2021 and it grows at 60% a year, but that growth drops off. So by 2030, the growth rate is only 11% and Tesla only sells 14,000 vehicles in 2030. This is a fairly pessimistic version of the model compared to Elon's stated goal of achieving 20,000 vehicles by or before 2030. The next three sheets I'm gonna show you are a previous generation of my model. The new generation of the model comes at the end, but here you can see the average selling price drops 5% a year. So we start with $50,000 in 2021, which is probably low, and it drops by 2030. The average selling price of a Tesla vehicle is $31,000, 20% gross margin. So the margin starts at $10,000 a vehicle in 2021, and it drops off to 6,300. So even though the number of vehicles grows, the profit per vehicle is dropping as it grows. So the profits don't go up quite as much as you might think. And you see gross vehicle profit in this particular version at just under $90 billion. In the last column, I added uh, numbers for FSD revenue at 5%, but in my total profit numbers, when I go through these models at the end, I left off this FSD revenue, which moderates my numbers a little bit. And at the bottom, you can see in green, the amount of gigawatt hours of batteries that this model uses in order to get there. So 711 gigawatt hours if the average pack is 50 kilowatt hours or a little over a thousand gigawatt hours if the average pack is 75 kilowatt hours. Now my impression is Elon is shooting for two or three terawatt hours of batteries for vehicles in 2030. So this is significantly underperforming what Tesla is shooting for. Next, I did a more optimistic model where the growth rate doesn't fall as fast. So if you look at 2030, the growth rate at the end is 22%. It's still growing stronger and you end up with 20 million vehicles in 2030, which is the number that Elon said they were shooting for. The average selling price, cont the average selling price and margins drop in the same way, but we get to $130 billion in profit, gross profit in 2030. You can see this model uses more batteries. You're at one terawatt hour in 2030 if you use an average of 50 kilowatt hour packs or 1.5 terawatt hours if it's an average 75 kilowatt hour pack. This is still well below the amount of batteries that Elon has said they're going to use in 2030, but this is what the numbers show. Again, gross profit with full self-driving revenue is significantly higher, but I'm not using that number when I calculate the totals at the end. I'm calling this the extreme optimist model, and it doesn't look that optimistic when you first look at it because the numbers are again lower. There's a reason for this. This extreme optimist model is where there's a lot of Tesla owned robo taxis. So Tesla is not making money on vehicle sales. It's making money on putting vehicles into the robo taxi fleet. So that's going to show up later. So we return to only $90 billion in profit in this particular model. I tried a different approach after I didn't like the way those others went. So this time I modeled not based on some arbitrary growth path, but rather my gut where I think it's going. In this case, this is a more moderate version of where I think it's going, where I really think it's going is next. And you can see that in 2026, Tesla reaches 18,000 vehicles sold. Tesla is going to have a high growth rate early and the growth rate is going to tail off later. So that fast growth to 18 million vehicles in 2026 tails off to only 25 million vehicles in 2030, which doesn't even grow from 2029. The other thing I did here is you can see a column 
it has yellow line around it. It says percent comp. That's the percent of the vehicles that are the Tesla compact robo taxi model from 2023. As the share of that vehicle rises, the average selling price falls and the amount of batteries used falls because the compact robo taxi doesn't use as much battery as the larger vehicles. Also in this model, I left out semi, cyber truck and a future van, which are gonna be in a separate sheet coming. You can see here that in 2026, the vehicles are already using 882 gigawatt hours of batteries and the profit's already $90 billion because of that early growth and because the average selling price hasn't fallen that much. And also I have here in the pink column where it says G margin, the gross margin is falling over time. So gross margin starts at 20% in 2021 and it falls to 13% in 2030. So as a result, the profit in 2030 for vehicles is actually not bigger significantly than the profit in 2026. Vehicle profit actually peaks in 2027 and whether it's competitive pricing pressures or market saturation, the margins fall, the prices fall, and the profits fall a little, the $90 billion in 2030. So this vehicle profit in this model is not really gonna drive the results. This profit is not really gonna be the big driver of Tesla's profits overall, as you're gonna see later. On this last sheet of the regular vehicles leaving out semi cyber truck in the van, you see we've gone up a little faster to 24 million vehicles in 2026 and topping out at 32 million vehicles in 2030. The curve is a little friendlier. It still bends back. It still slows down as we approach 2030, but it reaches a higher number in 2026 and tails off a little bit slower. So it's still growing in 2030. The percent of compact is, again, the share of compact vehicles rises. So the amount of batteries they use is less and the average selling price drops. The gross margin falls similarly, and we end up with $120 billion in profit in 2026. And 115, again, the profits fall again as you approach 2030 because that declining margin cuts into the increased vehicle sales. You end up with $116 billion profit in 2030. Here, vehicle profit again peaks in 2027. And another thing to note here is I'm keeping track in this latest sheet about profit per gigawatt hour because I'm going to do a model in the future where I just sort of assume what's the profit per gigawatt hour of these vehicles rather than trying to work this. This is a much more complicated model and I want to pursue a more simple model later. On top of the regular vehicle model, I added a separate sheet for semi, cyber truck, and van all together as one group. Cyber truck is at the far left of your screen. This is the moderate version of that story, and you can see that Cybertruck reaches a million vehicles in 2026 and ultimately maxes out at 1.8 million vehicles in 2030. Semi reaches 400,000 vehicles in 2026 and maxes out at 1 million vehicles in 2030. And the van, van, minibus, whatever it's going to be, this is a hypothetical vehicle, but I think this is going to happen. Elon mentioned it in Master Plan Part 2 reaches 200,000 vehicles in 2026. It has a later start and it reaches a million vehicles in 2030. I assume that Semi has an average of $160,000 price, 600 kilowatt hour pack, Cybertruck $55,000 price, 120 kilowatt hour pack, and the van is a $45,000 price and 100 kilowatt hour pack. Again, margins are declining from 20% down to 13%. This leads to profits in 2026 of $20 billion and in 2030 of $40 billion. Again, these don't move the needle compared to what's coming in the RoboTaxi and Megapack sections of the model in particular. And again, you can see here, I'm keeping track of profit per gigawatt hour. And the profit per gigawatt hour for Cybertruck, Semi, and Van is less than the profit per gigawatt hour of the other vehicles. It's probably not obvious from this, but Semi is the big driver of profits and the numbers in this story because its revenue per vehicle is so much higher and because the volume is pretty high. I'm expecting Semi to have a very high volume. There's 250,000 units possible in the United States, a million in China and half a million in India and then Europe. And I believe that Semi will be cutting into rail as well and taking market share from trains. So there's a huge potential for Semi and not really seeing a lot of potential competitors on the horizon that will be close to semi. And the last variation in this particular video is the same thing with a little bit more cyber trucks up to 2.2 million in 2030 and a million in 2026. Semis reach 1.2 million in 2030 a bit more and the van reaches a bit more to 1.2 million in 2030 as well. 
So you see $20 billion or $21 billion in profit in 2026, and you see almost $50 billion in profit, gross profit in 2030. That's the vehicle part of the model. Here you can click to see the solar part of the model that's next, and you can also see the other parts of the model. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the t-shirts, support the channel on Patreon, links to those in the description below.